Hello everybody and welcome to episode 28 and in this episode, uh, well, off the back of our previous episodes, we finally have the enemy that like chases around, jumps at us, doesn't do anything yet, uh, but we can hit, hit the slime, put it into a little knockback state and eventually we'll hit it so many times it enters a, uh, a, a, a death state. Uh, but we haven't actually done anything in that death state, so all it's doing is running no code at all and just playing whatever animation it happened to be set to. In this case, it was in the middle of an attack, so it's just playing that attack animation over and over. So in this episode, we're going to quickly finish off the uh, the player interacting with the enemy side of our, our little combat here and um, make the enemy actually die. So I'm going to bring up our slime function script, which has all of our uh, different uh, slime behaviors in its various uh, different states. It's one of the state, chase state, attack state, hurt state, and so on. Minimize them all, um, except for uh, slime die at the bottom here, which is what we're going to be focusing on. So I'm going to maximize this and zoom right in on slime die at the bottom here. So we already have most of the setup for this done. We have the uh, the slime uh, death animation already plugged in uh, as of last episode and we already have the variable set up for that in the um, slime object itself and we already have the functionality when we actually perform an attack with the uh, the calc attack function um, to actually send our slime from the hurt state or from whatever state it is um, into the die state when it runs out of health. Okay, so we have all that setup done now we just need to actually play that death animation and then ultimately destroy uh, the instance. Okay, so first thing I want to do is ensure that we are in that death animation. So I'm going to type sprite index equals spr uh, die. Okay, that's just the variable that we used to store that sprite in the last episode. Uh, image index is going to equal one point. No, sorry, <laughs> image speed is going to equal one point oh. Almost big mistake there. Um, that's to make sure we actually play the animation because we might have been. Um, in various different places in our slime states, we uh, we freeze our animation speed for whatever reason. So we want to make sure when we come to the state, um, we are resetting that speed. Uh, var distance to go is going to equal point distance x y x two y two. Um, this is to make sure you know we we still like kind of move with that knockback. If you remember in slime hurt. Uh, we do this stuff with distance to go. We have like we've been given a knockback and so on, and we're moving in a direction at a certain speed. So we're still going to do that in the death thing. We're not just going to. We could just freeze ourselves in place if you if you don't like the look of this and um, uh, if if you prefer that. But we're going to keep it up so that like even when playing the death animation, we kind of like move backwards with with the knockback um, that the player has applied with their attack. Okay, so um, if uh, distance to go. Uh, greater than enemy speed, exactly the same logic we used last time, you know, just um, if we're already there, uh, it, well, if we would move, if we would overshoot, move straight to it, otherwise move a bit towards it. So that equals point direction x, y, x2, y2. H speed equals length the x enemy speed dir. V speed equals the same but for y. Length to y enemy speed dir. Yeah, I know I point it out every time but just be careful with x and y here and h and v here. Very easy to mix those up. Uh, if h speed does not equal zero, image x scale equals minus. This is exactly the same. You'll you'll be noticing as what we wrote in the last state, okay? Because for the most part it is the same. We just kind of want to do that movement again. Um, you could even make an argument for burying this into a function, but it's, it's only in two places, so I don't really need to worry too much. Uh, collide and move enemy tile collision, just to make sure we don't go past any walls. Although given the fact that we're dying, uh, this is kind of optional. You, you might not care and allow the thing to go through walls up to you, um, but it doesn't really cost anything for us to do a collision check and keep them within the walls and so on. Uh, else so if we would overshoot, then just move us to the position. It's a lot easier. So x equals x2, y equals y2. All right, don't have to worry about direction or anything like that. We just snap to the final position. Cool. And then um, all we want to do is we're, we're moving in a fixed direction that we've already been set. We've got our death animation. And we just want to say 
if um, that animation would end, then uh, we destroy this instance, okay? So if image index plus sprite get speed sprite index divided by uh, game get speed game speed FPS. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit here because it's quite a long line. Oh, no, I just accidentally started running the game. Wrong button. F7, quite close to F6 and all that. Okay, so um, zoom out a little bit here. Hopefully you can still see okay. Uh, greater than or equal to image number uh, close bracket. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty beefy line here. So let's talk about it a little. First of all, I'm just going to come back to this animation. Um, okay, um, and just a reminder, obviously our slime works a little bit different from our player animation um, in that in the slime we only have one direction actually built in. This is more normal, right? Uh, we only have one direction um, in one animation. We are supposed to having like four built in. Um, so our player does its fancy code to work out you know, whether its animation has ended um, based on which direction it's facing. We don't need to do that with the slime, it just has the one direction. And it plays at 15 frames per second okay in the game um so in here what we're doing is we're going to take that speed 15 fps and divide it by the game speed which is 60 fps 15 over 60 gives us 0 0.25 and that's the number of frames that we actually advance every game step okay let me just zoom in here just to make sure you get that um again 15 fps uh divided by 60 fps um, gives us 0 0.25 frames per game step, okay? So if image index plus that number of frames, uh, so if our current frame plus 0 0.25 would be greater than or equal to the image number, uh, then we know that we would be finishing the animation this frame and would be looping right back, looping back to the start of the animation. So this is when we know the animation is finished and we can carry on with... Um, actually killing the object and just uh, destroying the instance, okay? Um, so I'll zoom back in here um, because we just need to put curly braces at the bottom here and then all I need to write is, um, well, not in all caps, instance destroy, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. So if we run that now, hopefully we'll find, it takes a bit of beating because uh, remember we gave this thing like 50 health last episode. We just hit it enough times, eventually it, it pops, okay? So we can see that's working. Let's just turn that enemy health back down. If we go to O slime, uh, variable definitions, enemy HP, just going to bring that down to like, uh, I don't know, um, 10 or so, right? I think that'll mean it'll take two hits. So we like get one hit, does a knockback, second hit, makes it blow up. You can set it to whatever you want, really. Um, 10 will do here for now. So there you have it. That's all of the uh, slime uh, functions and functionality finished off. Um, we spawn the slime, he wanders around. Uh, you can jump at the jump at the player. He can't hit the player yet, so we'll be covering that next time. Um, but he can be hit by the player and destroyed by the player. Okay, does everything we kind of want him to do. As I said, next episode we'll be looking at actually making the slime uh, the player in some way, and uh, I'll hope to. St As I said, next time we'll be making it so that the the slime can actually fight back and uh, isn't just jumping helplessly at the player and actually like hits the player and does a knockback, and we'll be writing kind of the hurt state uh, for the player. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next part. A huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters, and a huge special thank you, in particular, and in no particular order, to the following. Azrael Studios, Andy Brown, Starshock12, Cookie Draggy, Rachel Stewart, John C, Team D, Mr. Oz, Jordan Hake, Dalvor, Vacants, Phil Keen, Pong Pong Zhao, Andrew Gilbert, Michael Capone, The Holtzman Effect, Kaiser Ho, Justin Adega, Alex Schenkel, Troy Mera, Boris the Wizard, Zach Collett, Figgy, Cabbage Pants, Joran Pater, Leo, Scott Matthews, Mark Burgess, Sami and Yaya Legaglo, Rene Dam, Rupinder, Hare, Jason, James L. Anderson, James Siggins, Hyungjin, Relentless Rex, Bertie T, Daka Dondigo, Mike KB, Robert Churches, Matthew Gardner, Kimpo, Bowser the Dog, Max M, and Zephyr Flame. Thank you all ever so much, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you all next time.